Land of the Bible, the Rift Valley. And here we are flying in the helicopter over the edge of the cliffs that bound the western side of the Dead Sea. You can see from this shot how steep and sharp is the final drop into the Dead Sea. You can also see how dry it is. The Dead Sea is the lowest point on the Earth's surface. It's part of a huge rift in the Earth's crust that heads right down to the middle of Africa. The water that flows into the Dead Sea can't go anywhere else apart from evaporate and so the Dead Sea is very salty. We'll visit three areas in this video. The edge of the Dead Sea that we've already been to in the helicopter. Mount Nebo where we'll share a Moses eye view across to Jericho. And then a helicopter trip down from near Jerusalem to near Jericho. The Jordan Valley and the steepness of the hills beyond it provided more than a psychological barrier for Joshua and the Israelites entering the Promised Land. This is something like the view Moses would have had from near the top of Mount Nebo, with the Dead Sea just moving off to your left, as we pan round and zoom in to see the grey of the hills of Judah in the distance. We're now looking across more or less towards Jericho. See how steep those hills are? This is the Jordan Valley. Now we're in the helicopter again, flying down from somewhere near Jerusalem towards Jericho, flying over some of the steep wadis that lead down towards the Dead Sea and the Jordan Valley. It's springtime and there's a bit of grass about. Not much by New Zealand standards, but you can catch those glimpses of green shading on the hills. And if we zoom in here, we've managed to catch a shepherd and his flocks. There is enough grass around for flocks, as long as you keep moving the sheep. As they eat the grass in one place, you move on to another. And that kind of seasonal shepherding was what went on from the hill country of Judah. You can see how steep the wadis are as we fly down till we're now in sight of the Dead Sea. Returned to our starting point. 